Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video we're going to root the second generation tone and we're also going to activate all the root functionality, so let's get started. Now in order to successfully root the tone, you'll need to reset it to factory firmware and you're going to do this by holding down the reset button all the time until I say that you can let it go and during power up whilst holding the button uh, a screen will pop up stating that you need to touch the screen in order to flash the factory image you'll need to do that that takes about 10 seconds and after that uh, you can finally release the button and that should take the tone back to its factory settings um, factory image also which we need in order to perform a man in the middle attack on the firmware so after the flashing has been completed you'll be greeted with this introduction screen just press dodge and continue and the tone will restart now connect to your uh, raspberry pi via shh i've prepared a script that basically automates the whole process and you'll need to clone the git repository i've linked down the repository in the description down below and once git finishes cloning the repository go inside the directory make sure to make the main executable executable and run that script with sudo it will install all the required packages it will set up a hotspot that we need the tone to connect to so start the script with the activate argument and that will yeah, set the script that will tell the script to activate the tone instead of routing because we'll need to activate it first before we are uh, able to root it as you're able to see the script is ready to activate the tone so go back to the tone and connect it to the hotspot that we've just made it's called tone and the password is tone root lowercase no spaces no nothing just connect to it uh, this can take a little while but it shouldn't take that long so i'll just wait for it to connect here There you go, so it should say connected to the internet. Now go back and wait until the activate button pops up over there. And there you go, so press it. Now go back to the computer and press enter only when you are on this screen. So go back, press enter and we'll continue by uh, putting in some random activation codes. This may take a few attempts, just try a few and it will activate. So just click continue you won't need to enter anything in here and after you've clicked continue and proceed you'll need to restart the tone now on the second generation tone this can be done by pressing the reset button it is a software button so the little menu will pop up saying the tone will restart So on the Raspberry Pi, stop the current script with Ctrl C and restart the script, but now with the root argument and with payload. So root space payload that will tell the script to root the tone with the payload payload. And there's a file named payload. So that will set up the hotspot that the tone needs to connect to. And once the tone checks for an update, the payload script will execute and it will root itself. With the tone connected, reboot the tone. Now I'm not sure if this step is mandatory, but we'll go ahead and finish the activation process. So I'll click finish, the tone will reboot uh, another time. And after that we're going to go ahead and check for updates. And that will trigger the routing process of our tone. So we'll go ahead and skip the tour. So we can continue with the routing process. So then again, go to the settings of your tone and go to software and just keep it on this screen 
do not do anything don't press the update button it will do everything itself now so as the script says this may take a minute or two the script is listening for a uh, tone connection so it will notify you once the tone has picked up the actual script and as you're able to see the payload has been sent now the tone will do its things uh, don't touch it it will reboot at some point and that's the point at which your tone has been rooted successfully so we'll just wait on that Now once the tone has been booted, I uh, went and checked the menu to see if we've got the famous TSC menu, but we didn't and that was due to the firmware version being incompatible with the resource files that are present on the GitHub repository. So, but the tone is rooted, we actually don't have those resource files. So, again, it's rooted, but it's not completed uh, the routing process yet. So we are going to go ahead and connect to the tone via SSH uh, because at this point you should be able to do so. so. I'll just connect to the tone, to the username root and the password is tone and once you're in uh, you'll be able to update the tone to the newest firmware and as you can see I'm having some difficulties because I had a previous tone connected via SSH so the keys didn't match. Now at this point you'll need to disconnect the tone from your Raspberry Pi as we needed to be able to connect to the internet to download all the required resources. So exit out of the script and make sure to close the session that keeps the hotspot activated and connect your tone to your local Wi-Fi network so we can actually uh, update it. So then connect to your tone via SSH one more time, but this time using your local network, not via your Raspberry Pi. And we'll proceed and update the tone. So here you've got the update tone.sh. We'll need to make sure that it's executable, otherwise it won't work. Now at this stage I tried to install the uh, TCS and the tone store, which didn't work. Uh, because all the uh, required resources were not there for this firmware version. So as said before, we need to upgrade the Tone's firmware first and then we need to install the script. Well actually this script will install the required files during an upgrade. So we won't have to do this again. So to upgrade the Tone, just do update rooted, press enter and it will go through the whole process. And once the update is done, the script will ask you if it should fix the known issues with the tone, mainly disconnect from VPN and all that other stuff. Type in yes and press enter. And it will install and fix all the common problems. There you go. So I'll just wait for this to finish. Now we should reboot your tone. Uh, do not reset it or unplug the power that will corrupt the file system just issue the reboot command and wait for the tone to reboot now the update process during the reboot will take some time so please uh, be patient do not do anything to your tone do not disconnect it that will damage the tone and you'll need to start all over again so let's wait for this to complete after the tone has been rebooted you'll be greeted with a lot of options in the menu. You can use the Tone Store to download certain customizations. So you are able to control your Home Assistant uh, installation, Sonos. And inside the settings menu, you will now have the TCS menu option available. And that allows you to perform certain system customizations to the Tone. So change subscription, uh, features change the tariff of your uh, electricity gas and possibly also your water uh, all that stuff so at this stage you've successfully rooted your tone so thank you guys for watching this video i certainly hope you find this video useful if you did please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video with your friends and i'll catch you guys in the next one oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here 
Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.